Hello and welcome to another game of Dirty Bomb and in this video we're going to be showing you a really good run I have here. I get a lot of kills and you can see some quite good gameplay on here and a few little different things that we haven't seen in one of the other videos. So straight off the bat I'm going to stick with this guy who's the ammo bearer, he's got the big gun and I'm actually playing as the medic. So as you can see getting a bit of fire down there straight around the corner. Helping each other out here, he took some damage, I took some ammo and vice versa. So the game really does help you if you stick with team play. Um, definitely makes the game easier and a lot more exciting than having to respawn in all the time over and over and over again. quite a few lucky kills in there probably. Now the game uh, is a little bit like CSGO and mixed with that Team Fortress, that's what it feels like anyway and this was actually made by the creators of Brink which was also whack, let's well say bring on the whack. Uh, but the same developers have created this and do you know what it's absolutely brilliant especially if you just want to jump in and have a crazy 15-20 minutes. Uh, the more I play it, definitely enjoying it. So part of our second objective is, is we've got to be within the vicinity of this EV, it will then move forward and the enemy have to stop us getting it to the um, location point, they can either blow up the EV or obviously kill us and if the EV takes too much damage then it actually needs repairing. So as you can see I'm going to use this as basically a shield to help protect me uh, and with this class as you can see I've got two med packs and there's a cooldown on there and I also have some defibs so I'm going to keep moving in, moving up close using the uh, the EV as a shield and as you can see we get quite a few kills as we start to move down here around the corner and um, yeah absolutely loving it so far Reloading. Our EV's I was sure that it was uh, Bethesda that actually made Brink uh, but every um, Every voiceover in the game, every character and every location is based in England, mainly around London. So I don't know whether that was a choice of the studio or whether it was just something different, but obviously if you're English, it's nice to play uh, on an English map that's based around your own country. As you can see here, there are little cubby holes and sneaking flanks all over the place and on a lot of the maps you can take like little side missions that will open up say corridors so you get another flanking position and I'm one of the other ones that used to flood a certain room which made it difficult for the enemy to get around so I'm going to keep sneaking up, sneaking up, putting the ammo down and unfortunately I got taken out but that was a real good run on this map and as you're about to see it gets more and more intense and more and more interesting lots of medics coming out now, they've unlocked the defibs so they're starting to come out and um, revive your team because what happens is when you get shot let's go get this bastard run out of ammo once you actually get is that an ammo box can we take him out yes um, once you actually get shot like that you can stay alive for about 15 seconds giving the medics chance to revive you or if you get shot while you're on the ground then that's it you're out and you have to wait for the next wave of uh, people to come in and down at the bottom as you can see you get the choice of three characters that you pick from the, from the beginning and the more you play the more experience you get you can unlock new characters and weapons and so forth so forth you know the score and I'll probably show you that in another video um, showing you where the microtransactions actually do come in now now I've had a little bit more time with the game I know where they are and uh, yeah I know what's involved in that but of course if you want to play it you don't have to pay Now what's happening here is, is that the enemy have damaged this with airstrikes, bombs, grenades, you name it. Uh, and I'm actually repairing it at the back. As you can see, there's quite a lot of players on my side up at the top left. So I'm going to repair this. Nobody else seems to be doing it. They all seem to be defending. So once I've repaired this, if I can make it, there we go. And the EV now moves on to its next location because we're all in the vicinity of it. It's going to go in here and then we move on to the next objective and you're about to see... Well, objective. I have quite a good little run. We have the objective. Run, Forrest, run! Right. 
I actually had no idea where I was running at that point, but I can see the little uh, the little objective marker. So I'm going to put this battery in here, and I'm not sure whether it takes one or two. It may actually be two, or whether it's just this one, and then they need to defuse it. Um, Deliver the I'm not too objective. sure. But uh, yeah, so it's a matter of uh, our guys coming down here now and trying to hold off until this bomb explodes. I think we're nearly, nearly there. I think the countdown is about to run out in a minute. And there we go. So we got the final bomber in as well. As I mentioned in my other video, really, really like it, Dirty Bomb at the minute. It's a free game to play on Steam, so Mission download it, play it. Nice it's, if you want 15, 20 minutes of carnage and lots of strategy, lots of unlocks, without the need to pay for stuff unless you want to, then get it. It's great. 10 out of 10. See you in the next video. I've been Para. See you later. Bye bye.